sweet voice saying, make me your choice. And I entered that haven of praise. I've anchored my soul in that haven of praise. I'll sail the wide seas no more. The tempest may sweep o'er the wide stormy deep. In Jesus I'm safe evermore. I yielded myself to his tender embrace and faith taking hold of the word my fetters fell off and i anchored my soul the haven of rest is my lord i've anchored my soul in that haven of rest i'll sail the wild seas no more the tempest may sweep o'er the wild stormy deep in jesus i'm safe evermore oh come to the savior he patiently waits to save by his power divine come anchor your soul in that haven of rest and say my beloved is mine i've anchored my soul in that haven of rest i'll sail the wide seas no more the tempest may sweep o'er the wide stormy deep in jesus i'm safe evermore every morning when i to see the sun I can't help but think about the Lord and all the things he's done he meets my every need the Lord has sure been good to me and I can't help but praise the Lord for all he's done for all he's done I'm gonna lift my hands and praise him for all he's done. I'll try to live my life to please him. And even though I don't deserve to live, my life has just begun and I can't help but praise the Lord for all he's done. Now there are many things that 
I could praise God for. And if I started now until I die, there'd still be many more. If I could mention only one, I'd have to thank him for his son. Now that's enough to praise the Lord for all he's done. For all he's done, I'm going to lift my hands and praise him. For all he's done, I'll try to live my life to please him. And even though I don't deserve to live, my life is just begun. And I can't help but praise the Lord for all he's done. bigger the burden, the heavier the heartache, the deeper the lonely night, the greater God's love will shine. The lower the valley, the wider the river, the higher the mountain to climb. The greater God's love will shine. The more love you need, the more he will give. The weaker you are, the stronger he is. In your darkest hour, that's when you will find. The greater God's love will shine. When you got troubles, when you are hurting, just open your heart to his light. The greater God's love will shine. The more love you need, the more he will give. The weaker you are, the stronger he is. In your darkest hour, that's when you will find the greater God's love will shine. Amen. Lord, we bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. How I desire to see the church full of the Spirit. Amen. Appreciate the good words we've already heard in this place tonight. Amen. How I desire His Spirit. Now, if you're living a halfway life, the Spirit will scare you. Amen. It'll scare you because it manifests the deeds that are hidden under the surface of religion. Amen. But if you want to be full of the Spirit, buddy, I'll tell you one thing. It'll show you who you are and clean you out and help you move up a little closer. Amen. I want to get as close as I can get. How about you? Amen. All right. I won't be before you very long tonight, but I feel like the Lord gave me this while we're standing up here. I'm just going to be real simple tonight, and I hope and pray if there's somebody here tonight that's ready, I hope you can praise the Lord. If there's somebody here that's not ready, I hope you can get ready. Revelation chapter 22. Revelation 22. Amen. Pray for me tonight. I'm going to be a very simple thought. Amen. Very simple, but very profound. So you just pray for me that the Lord will help me. Revelation 22. You Bible readers, if you don't know where that is, 
Go to the very go to the concordance and back up just a little. Amen. Verse number seven. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. Verse number 12. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. Verse number 20. And he which testifieth these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so come. Lord Jesus, you may be seated tonight. Amen. I do desire your prayers for just a minute that the Lord would help us and I after after the after the service broke this morning and uh, most of you know we just stand around and talk however long that people uh, want to talk and and uh, the kids was just doing their own thing and and uh, I was uh, watching the boys as they was running to and fro uh, playing and I watched one of them bury its head uh, down in the pew back there and this is what uh, that he began to say as the others started running. Amen. Brother Keith, he said this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And he jumped up on his feet. And this is what he said. Ready or not, I'm coming. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to say tonight, amen, that's what I want to preach on a minute. Uh, ready or not, uh, he's a coming. Amen. Now every man that uh, was born into this world, amen, shaping into iniquity. Uh, nobody was born a Christian. It don't matter who your mama or your daddy was or how good that they are or who they was. Amen. You was not born a Christian. Amen. But they was a way made on Calvary uh, so that whosoever will, amen, could come and take of the water of life freely uh, so that everybody could go to heaven. Amen. There's a hell right beneath your feet. Amen. But it was not made uh, for a human race of people uh, to plunge into it uh, because God uh, so loved the world uh, that he gave his only begotten son uh, that whosoever believeth in him uh, should not perish uh, but have everlasting life. Uh, for he sent not his son into the world could condemn the world but that the world through him I said that the world through him uh, might be saved. Hallelujah. The Bible said uh, the preaching of the, of the cross to them that perish. Amen. It's foolishness. But unto us that are saved, it is the power of God. I want to say tonight, amen, there was a way made for everybody. Uh, now if you're here tonight, amen, you're saved and on your way to heaven. I want to say tonight, you've got every reason. I heard uh, what they said trying to exhort us uh, to praise the Lord. Amen. I know the battle gets hard and the way gets steep. But every once in a while, Brother Johnny, we ought to be able to stop and look back. Amen. At the place where Jesus had brought us out of that horrible pit and say, I am so glad that he lifted me out. I said, he brought me out. He brought me out. He brought me out. He saved me. The way was made at Calvary. The door was open for me. I'm glad I went in. I'm glad the table was set. And I'm glad that I'm born again. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm glad I'm born again. Not with corruptible seed such as silver and gold. Amen. I don't know how much money I got in there, but they ain't a whole lot of it. But I want to say tonight, you can stack enough hundred dollar bills in this church tonight and pack them and repack them and have enough to buy one lost soul. There ain't no way. But God, hallelujah. Amen. John was baptizing. Are we under in the sea? And he looked down the sea coast of Galilee and said, Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sea of the world. I'm glad to say tonight, amen, my sin, you ask me why I'm happy, so I'll just tell you why. Because, because my sins are gone. They're under the blood, they're gone. Amen, I'm so glad Jesus forgave me, and he said, I'm not going to remember against you anymore. Can anybody say hallelujah? I'm glad when Jesus looks at me, he don't see who I was, but he sees the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. He make a change in you and you will be a new creature. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I love the way the Lord works. Amen. 
You can come down to the down to the altar a drunkard, but if that Holy Ghost is on the inside of you, I like what you said. Amen. There's something down in there. Amen. That when Jesus moves in, I thought about it. Is it okay if I just follow the Holy Ghost? Amen. You go up and down the river right now. After that flood come through. Amen. Up and down the other sides of the road. You can tell everybody's house that the flood had got in. Because of every bit of it. It don't matter how much they paid for it at J.C. Penny. It's piled out by the road. It don't make no difference if it's a single bed or a queen size bed. Ain't no good no more. It's piled out there beside the road for somebody to come by and pick up. Woo, hallelujah. Do you remember when the floods of ungodly and sin had taken your vessel? Amen. You know where you was when the great I am found you? I said, do you remember where you was when the great I am found you? Well, oh, but I'm glad he didn't put a big X on your house and said you're condemned. No, he said, hey, I buy ugly houses. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. Do you remember when he cleans you out? I said he cleans you out and he put that spirit of the Lord living down on the inside. Amen. I know my name's the same, but I'm a brand new man. I'm a brand new vessel because of who moved on the inside of me. Hallelujah. Amen. You can get up off the altar and go to, if you're saved and Jesus calls you, you go to heaven just like that. But if you live a hundred years, you never quit growing. Every day you pick up that word, you see where you need to change. And all along, I hear in the back of my spirit, Ricky, he's a coming. Get ready. He's a coming. Amen. I heard so many. I, you heard me say it. And I seen before that hurricane hit down in Florida. I heard that new newscaster, Brother Scotty, as they stepped behind the microphone. And this is what they said. Amen. The time to prepare for the storm is about over. Amen. The time to evacuate is about over. Hey, can I say tonight? Amen. If you're going to go to heaven, you better get ready. I said you better get ready. Hey, if you're here tonight and you're saved, ain't you glad that the preparations have been made, amen because just any day, he said behold, he's not going to give you a seven day notice, amen, he's give you a two thousand year notice, amen he gave you his word and said get ready, I'm a coming, I'm a coming and my reward is with me hallelujah, I want to say tonight he's a coming, the world says I've heard it all my life, and he ain't come yet can I go ahead and say again he's a coming and he's a coming quickly, amen Amen. It's amazing. It's amazing. Amen. Sometimes the storm will go around the house and take the next one. But the warning was given to everybody. You better get out. I don't know how many doors y'all knocked on the other night. You better get out. Trouble's coming. You better get ready. Get out of here. Get out of here. Even I got some some friends. Brother Johnny has relayed the testimony they said to me, and this is what they said: They go to them, they go to them doors. Amen. Knock on the door. You better get out. The water's rising. And this is what they said: I'm not going nowhere. There's no way that it'll ever get this high. I've sat through a many a storm, and there ain't no way. And man, not many hours later, the phone rung on the other end. I'm trapped and I can't get out. Would you please come back and get me? Hey, Amen. But Brother Keith, they couldn't get back and get them. The waves were too high. Hey, Amen. Trouble was too big. Now, can I tell you? Hey, Amen. If you're here tonight, hey, Amen. I don't know how many more chances you had, but I believe I got out just in time. Hallelujah. Amen. The Holy Ghost, you remember when it knocked on your heart? Amen. I don't know how many more times you had, Homer. You may have never had another altar call, but ain't you glad you didn't turn that one away? Ain't you glad that you said, Lord, come in? and I opened my heart and I let him in and I want to say it's been the best life that you could ever live a living for Jesus. Amen. Amen. You better get out. Get ready. Get ready. You ain't a strong enough swimmer to get away from the judgment of God. 
But it don't matter how little or how frail you are. If you're ready. On that resurrection morning. Hallelujah. Is everybody with me? Amen. There's coming a day, whether it's early in the morning or late at night, it's going to be early in the morning because the end of the day of grace, when the door comes to a close and the Lord looks over to son and said, all right, son, go get your tribe. Amen. When he steps up off of that throne and steps out on that cloud, whoo, this is our hope. This is our hope. Amen. I know the Bible said evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. The and being deceived it ain't going to get any better but every breath I take I'm getting a little closer to I come quickly amen every morning I get up I'm getting a little closer to I come quickly amen you better search your heart amen to be ready when that trumpet sounds because when it sounds he's going to come quickly and those that are ready are getting out of here I said getting out of here and leaving behind the trouble and I'm glad and I'm ready to go to another land. Hallelujah. Come back to the piano, Mamma. In a moment. Behold, beloved, I would not have you be ignorant concerning those that are asleep. Hallelujah. All those loved ones that live for Jesus. I think I see Nora back there. Yeah, there she is. Hey, man, I can remember. I was talking about him today, the good times that we had with old brother Joe. All the times I heard him teach Sunday school, all the help I got from him, all the time sitting in her living room, all the time of fellowship, amen, all the times, amen, that he talked about that home. Amen, when we started singing that song this morning, how beautiful heaven must be. I could almost hear him say that recitation, amen, about how beautiful heaven must be. How beautiful must it be. Well, let's think about it. All them loved ones that died in the Lord, all that cancer, hallelujah, all them babies that died, all them aborted children that the mamas and daddies didn't want. God's got a rocking chair. Whoa, hallelujah. I said God's got a rocking chair. All them soldiers that died in the Lord and nobody knows where they are. There's an old CNI. I said there's an old a CNI that knows where where they are and when that trumpet sounds hallelujah those that are died in the Lord they'll get up on that resurrection morning amen they'll go be with heaven very quickly amen very quickly amen as the lightning there's all kinds of different beliefs I'm not getting into none of them I know what I believe there ain't no way you're going to get away from the fact of he's coming. He's coming. And behold, he cometh with clouds. He told them over yonder on that mountain, he said, the same Jesus that you see go away shall return in like manner. So one of these days, he's coming. Who's he coming after? Those that are ready. Those that are ready. That bride that's pure. That bride that has adorned herself with holiness and pureness. Hey man, he's coming after them. Are you ready? Can you say even so, Lord Jesus? Come quickly. Come. Can you say that? Oh, now wait a minute. I've got some things I've got to fix up in my life. You better get her fixed. Seven, eight, nine, ten. When that trumpet sounds, this is what he'll say, ready or not, I'm a coming. And I know he knows them that are his. I said he knows them that are his. He knows them that are his. And can you say, I'm one of his children. I'm glad I'm one of his children. If you're here tonight and you've never been saved, you've never been born again, I got news. He's a coming. And I got better news than that. You can go too, but you got to get ready. You got to get the sins under the blood so that your name's right wrote down the Lamb's book of life and when that trumpet sounds everybody can leave together won't it be wonderful there are you ready are you you ready you ready to get out of this sorrow no more going in at one o'clock in the morning no more worrying about your past no more sickness 
No more sorrow. No more following them babies to the graveyard. No more following your wife to the cemetery. Me and Scotty talk about it every day. He'll say, I went and visited Mary today. I'm going to a land where you can go up down the streets of that city forever and never find one tombstone. Because Jesus is on the throne and he'll say this, I'm he that was dead, but now I'm alive. And I'm alive forevermore. And now you are alive. Do you know when you get to heaven, you'll never die again. There'll never be no more sickness. There'll never be no more sorrow. I can't imagine that. Well, get used to it. There ain't going to be no trouble over there. It's going to be wonderful. I said it's going to be wonderful. But if you're going to go, you've got to get ready. Are you ready? Do you have your things fixed up?